As a new or even an intermediate user, the focus is always really on learning the modeling tools that are going to enable you to build your parts, your assemblies, and document your designs and your drawing files. In this video, I wanted to spend some time uh, showing you some of the tools that you can leverage to work more efficiently with your graphics window, you know, when you have multiple files open. So you can see here in my inventor window, I have four different files open and you can see them by the different tabs that are available on the bottom. When you hover over any of these tabs, you get a little tool tip that comes up, it shows a little thumbnail image of the model as well as a little bit of information. This is one way that you can kind of scroll through if you're trying to find um, a model and you don't know the exact name. Uh, one other thing that I really wanted to show you here is some of the ways that you can kind of be efficient with using these tools. Um, and one of those ways is to create kind of groups of tabs. Uh, the first three models that I have listed here are all associated with the same assembly, but this fourth one, this wheel assembly is a bit separate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can create tab groups. So I'm gonna select and hold my mouse on this on this uh, tab, and if I drag out and then kind of drag back in, you can see that there's a blue highlight at the bottom of the tab. It goes all the way across the graphics window. Now you can see it compared to the other way where if I wanted to leave it all on one tab across the bottom, you can see how it highlights blue in that area. So it's a bit different um, in terms of where you're dragging. So I'm gonna drag to the very bottom, that thin blue line, and I'm gonna release. And you can see here now I have two tab groupings. I have the first one, which is the assembly with its two parts that I have open, as well as this assembly, which is the wheel assembly on the, on the bottom. So it's kind of a nice way to, to kind of break up and, uh, and regroup uh, uh, common files. Uh, what I also wanted to show you here is if you wanted to actually work completely with this wheel assembly in its separate window, you can also do that. So you can see I just dragged it outside of its tab grouping and it's now its own window and I can resize this window, no problem. And I can work with that window. So this is kind of a nice way to, um, to put them all uh, kind of work maybe on a separate monitor. So I'm gonna take this tab again, the wheel assembly, I'm pressing and holding my left mouse button. I'm gonna drag it back into the tab at the bottom here. And you can see now it's more of a rectangular, smaller shape. So I'm gonna release it here. And now you can see again, I have one tab grouping with all far, four parts there. Now what I'd like to show you is some of the commands that are down in the documents menu. So this is in the lower right hand corner of the window. You can see kind of the hamburger icon here. This is the documents menu. And I can select this and you can see it has a number of different commands listed. So firstly, you can see that it also um, lists all of the tabs. So again, I can hover over any one of these and you can get the uh, thumbnail image and as well as the file name. It also is nice because it tells you the full path to the file. I often find that uh, that is something helpful to know where exactly I'm, uh, I'm working from. So I can select actually and change uh, windows as well using any one of those text-based uh, file names. At the top, there's also a number of really nice commands that uh, you can get to use here. Um, the Arrange button, uh, this one enables you to tile all of your commands. So this is a, a really nice way to kind of view all of them, especially if you're like working in one assembly and you have multiple parts, and you can kind of uh, navigate between each one. Uh, you can tell by which one is active a couple different ways. Firstly, you know, you certainly can see that the, the blue highlight on the tab name um, but additionally, it's the window that has the view cube and the navigation pane open. So if I was to select over in this window, you can see now that the blade of the engine is now uh, highlighted and active. Uh, at any time too, you can go in and you can expand or maximize any of these documents. So I'm gonna select maximize here, and that's gonna bring that one compa uh, component into, uh, into view as a single, as a single window. I can also at any time go back here and select restore previous layout and it goes back to that arranged um, scenario where I have all the four models um, open. Uh, another uh, couple options here down in the documents menu, I can select on this again. I can hor horizontally tile all of these models. Uh, so it get, they get a little small for sure if you um, have a number of them open, but if you had two, maybe this might actually be a really nice way to work. Uh, additionally, you can do that vertically. Okay, so it's a nice way to, to look at things. Uh, and any time too, you can click Restore All. 
And what that does is it's going to restore it all back to uh, one view, but it goes back to the home tab. So this is that the very first tab and you can see I can go back over into my any one of my parts here and it opens them as full screen. Okay. Um, and one last thing I'd like to show you before I finish this video is one other thing that sometimes people like to see is it can be cluttered when you have the ribbon and the model browser open and under the view tab at the top of the window, you can click the clean screen uh, option. So that's under the windows panel and you can click clean screen. And basically what that does is it compresses everything just to give you that that more of a, a larger view. Um, you know, I find this was is good for presentations. If you need to display to somebody, show somebody what you're looking at. It's a really nice way to see things. Uh, and then to get back into your um, previous view, you can go back, you can click clean screen again a second time and it will return it to the window. And one other um, command that I also find really helpful is if you've customized things a lot with your UI and you've kind of gone too far and you want to return back to the default settings, the reset UI layout is also a really handy command that many users uh, don't know exists and it's a nice way to, to get back to those defaults if you've made too many changes. Anyway, I hope uh, that this helps you and that uh, gives you a couple tools that maybe will help you work a little more efficiently with your models.